everyone in today's video we'll be discussing about dividers or separators to make this page look a little bit more aesthetic and appeasing to a viewers eye so let's get started so my favorite place to get backgrounds are from SVG backgrounds and this is another uh, website called the CSS gradient and this is from UI gradients so let's uh, take a look at the first one that's the SVG backgrounds so you can just hover over any of these circles actually so once you hover and you take away the mouse from there uh, the background actually comes um, taking up the pattern from these circles it's pretty cool so that you can get actually a view of the pictures or the patterns uh, that you would like to choose from so let's go with one of these patterns actually mm. okay I kinda like this so after it's chosen the one you can go ahead and remove the mouse and you can see the pattern of that circle so if you like how it looks you can go ahead and hit download SVG if you don't want like if you want to edit something you can you know move these toggles and see if you like something or okay that yeah if you want to make some adjustment you can go ahead and control these um, toggle bars and if you're looking for CSS of this particular um, pattern you can go ahead and copy this and use it in your project as well but for now I'm just going to hit download SVG I'm going to save it I'm going to go to Figma and I'm going to drag this and drop it into Figma there we have it this pattern is actually an SVG so you can't actually crop it and you can't change the height if you change the height it will get all cramped up and it won't look as good as the original so I'm just going to highlight this highlight it and I'm going to save it into PNG once again alright so bringing the PNG of the same pattern back into um, Figma so this time you can see the difference there's actually no difference at all except this is an SVG and this is a PNG that's the picture so now you can either go ahead and change the height or you can go ahead and crop with crop you get the option of having uh, having a tiny piece that is the height I would generally go about 16 to 20 pixel but you can choose your height let's go about 147 but do a little bit more about 85 that seems good so there we have it this is our separator a colored orange separator so the height of this uh, image is about 85 pixel we can come again and adjust if we want it to be a little bit lesser but for now we can go ahead and export it as a PNG once again so going back to notion we can put these separators anywhere we would like so I'm going to show you a couple of few examples so I'm going to put this over here to show you how it looks cancel that take some minute to load so you can actually see how it makes a difference um, when you use a color separator than a regular uh, separator that notion gives you and the notion separator or divider I call it separator but it literally means the same right so using the slash command you can go ahead and type in divider yeah it's pretty cool there's nothing wrong with it but I like to have some color in my document so this is another way to use it so we can use the other separators as a demonstration right here so my second favorite website is from cssgradient.io this is a gradient option and the previous one was more like a pattern um, option if you're looking for a pattern it does really look nice uh, so coming back to gradients these are really nice gradients 
in case you want to change the degree of it you can go ahead and change the degree on how you like it to be clean on 315 and in case you don't like how it looks once you change it, it automatically gives you a reset button so once it resets goes back to 42 degree uh, as when you came in here earlier so if you want to add a new a color to it you can hit the plus button and you can get another color you can just hit this white and you can just uh, add in another color probably around there and yeah that's pretty cool or you can just experiment you know I personally think that the previous one was way nicer so I'm going to reset this so that it looks uh, as the original because the original is really nice they put thought and um, made them look so beautiful you know so once you're happy with how the gradient looks you have multiple pages of gradients here so I'm just going to opt for this blue one which is really really nice blue is everyone's favorite right maybe that's an assumption so I'm going to opt for the blue one uh, but before that we want to go into uh, Figma and I'm going to drag and drop in a rectangle sorry about that much yeah this looks really nice so I'm going back here and selecting on the first color right here and hovering and copying that and going back to Figma and changing the fill which is solid at the moment changing it to linear so once you change it to linear you get the gradient option so you can have multiple color over here and you can just paste in the color that we copied from the previous website that is CSS uh, gradient so the second color is this really nice minty green so again copying that as well coming back to Figma and selecting the second box right here so that the second color gets pasted there so what you want to do now is again paste it in ho copy that and then paste it in that place and hit enter so now you would see that this it's not the same right uh, so you need to drag the slider so that it has the full 100% of opacity so it kind of looks similar uh, maybe you can play around with the uh, positioning like how you want it to start and how it wanted to end I think it almost looks same if you compare it side by side right yeah so I'm going to go ahead and um, reduce the height here as well right about I think 85 would be nice yeah 85 so this would be a second separator so export save going back to notion so now I'm going to delete this uh, uh, separator from um, the default separator from notion and dragging and dropping the one which we created in Figma so there we have it I think the height has um, is a little bit different so let's check that out okay the height of this is 85 and this is also 85 so now let's make the width of the blue one also the same as the orange one so that looks nice export uh, it as well save and going back to notion so now we can just drag and drop it in there there we have it it looks really nice isn't it yeah it looks really nice and dope so this way you can select uh, multiple gradients from among all of these different pages that's literally so many nice ones. If your website is unicorn and you need a separator, you know this one is really good. And yeah, it's 
so many nice beautiful gradients out here you can select uh, whichever one you want from here so the last option that I have for today is from UI gradients and this one is really nice as it uh, the entire screen uh, showcases the gradient itself this is snapchat it's really nice and really snapchatty so all you have to do is click on the screen once so that it's like focused and once you hit the arrow key towards your right and just takes you to the next gradient so you can just keep swiping between the arrow keys if you want to go back it's the left arrow key and in case you want to you know uh, fix on one the frost is really nice so let's go ahead and download this and you can even get CSS and you can rotate the gradient which is super cool here yeah. yep that looks really nice so I'm going to go ahead and download this but in UI gradient you do get an option of downloading it as a JPEG JPG so I'm just going to go ahead and save it right here and going back to uh, Figma it is always nice to go to Figma first before you uh, put it directly in your project because you can see the height of it right so you can want to widen it up so that it matches the other two separators right here so again this is 85 this is 85 so you want to make this as 85 as well go ahead and um, type 85 in the height column and hit enter and now since this is like link so it basically takes both into consideration but you can go ahead and hit control Z and remove this and just change the height of it and there we go it looks really nice so you can go ahead and export this as well save it go back to notion and you can go ahead and drop it where you want to there we go it looks really nice and really cool even though not going to lie about this particular uh, gradient it kind of looks uh, like a navy gray throughout so it's probably best if we would take like a lighter color and a darker color on uh, the opposite side more like um, all these are yeah like this, this Dusk is really a nice option to go to, so let's try this out. So, going back to Figma, Dusk, unlinking, typing in 85. See, this is really nice. Let's just go ahead and do that. So, now you can go ahead and export this as well. And drag and drop it in there we go it looks really nice isn't it so this is how you can um, have different separators uh, in Notion obviously you can stick to one separator I think that's, that will look really nice and aesthetic uh, to your viewers eye like let's make a duplicate of this itself like let's make it duplicates like we need five right so just gonna drag this to the end and drag and drop it there drag and drop it here one year and one year like how cool is that you know what I'm talking about like it it looks nice if you want to have a pop of color um, this is really a nice way to go to and in case you want to have like one single separator you can do that as well 
go ahead when you see the blue line it's a safe zone you can go ahead and release it over here it will look like as though the height is changed but it's not it's still 85 you can go back to figma and you can change the height again let's say about 35 and download it once again for each width the height of the separator will look slightly different like it looks way thinner here and it looks kind of medium but this looks very huge right so it depends on the width of the column uh, so look out for that so now that we have our uh, height minimized right here and it's exported and it's good to go so let's drag and drop it right here and there we go it's way thinner and it looks almost the same as uh, column 1 and column 2 um, in one whole piece you know so it looks nice it looks really nice so this is how you can have a different colored um, so this is how you can have a different color uh, separators or dividers to make your page look aesthetic and really pleasing to the viewer's eye and I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.